I did have to cover this, though. How could I possibly not? Lesbian members bar that excludes trans women to open in London. Now, considering the fact that we have polling data on trans support from the UK and lesbian women are by far the most pro-trans, they're going to have some trouble. Like, lesbian women living in London might be one of the most pro-trans groups, period. Anyway, only allows entry for cis women and excludes trans women is set to open in London later this year. And uh, I, I, we, we have to open with this. This is one of the people who's opening it. Uh, Jenny Watson, a blue check, of course. We will enlist our own medical professionals to conduct comprehensive head-to-toe examinations. Following that, individuals will be provided with mouth swabs for self-collection, which they can then send back to us. These samples will then be dispatched to a lab by us and will patiently await the results, a process taking approximately two to four months. Additionally, x-rays will be administered by our skilled staff behind the bar. I think this is a joke. However, it's a joke in response to the question of how will you know who is a cis woman or a trans woman or just like a butch lesbian? Have you seen butch lesbians? Have you... Who, who was that? Uh, hold on. Kristen Stewart photo shoot. Did you see Kristen Stewart in that recent goddamn photo shoot? I can't, I can't even show these goddamn images. This shit, okay? Have you seen what butch women look like? Uh, like, how, like, how are you gonna know? She looks great. Uh, a, a curse of my mind. I, I think butch lesbians are hot. I was, you know, it's, it's not much to be done there, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, uh, uh cis women wearing jock straps. Truly a, 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 truly a valid gender. But, anyway, not distracting myself, it was a joking response to a real question, which is, how are you going to know who's trans and who's cis? The obvious answer to this is either that they, Jesus facetious, thank you. I'll, I'll read that in a second. My goodness. The bar, named L Community, because it's taking the L, is set to open as a private members club so it can legally restrict access to cisgender women only, the Telegraph reports. L Community has been set up by Jenny Watson, who was criticized in September 2023 for attempting to ban trans women from attending her lesbian speed dating event in London. The event was eventually allowed to go ahead for cis women only. Jenna Watson, the in organizer, posted on her website. What the f- Why is everything like this? Well, I read ahead of my reading speed, and I saw very clearly that Jenny Watson explained that at one point in a previous lesbian speed dating meetup, a trans woman approached her with an erection. And I don't believe her. I don't believe her. You know, if you listen to TERFs talk about trans women, you'd think that they were all like hyper virile, uh, you know, like in insanely sexually aggressive giant bonars or whatever, which like Jesus Christ, you know, like you, you, you go you go on on trans Twitter and the number one joke is that their dicks are all useless. It, it, it like it, there's it's so like made up. I'm reminded. What was that one? There was that trans woman in Scotland where there was, she was in prison, she was imprisoned, and she never did anything wrong in prison. Like, there were no even accusations of bad behavior when she was in prison, but somebody else, another woman who was in that prison with her, got out and was like, yeah, I felt horribly menaced, you know? Uh, while we showered together, she had a penis or something. Like, 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 you know, not doing anything. It's just, it's psychosis. It's ridiculous. I don't know. Turfs, turfs treat trans women the same way that cops treat fentanyl, where they will make up stories about like one particulate of fentanyl emanating a death aura that drops all of them to their knees. Like, they, they, and, and you look at it from the outside and it's insane. Like, it's psychotic. You wonder if it's a joke. Like, are you doing a bit? Are, are, you, are you doing a bit? Are you making a joke? Uh, but they're not, they're just insane. Absolutely insane. They get their idea of what a trans woman is from food porn, unironically. I don't think they do. I don't think they consume that. I don't get the impression that a lot of TERFs are very, like, sexually explorative people because a lot of them speak in the language of, um, like, highly moralized sexual conservatism. Uh, not to say that sexual conservatives don't jerk off to food porn. Uh, but, uh, no, I, I don't think that's it. I think a lot of TERFs uh, just hate men and they see trans women as men, so they apply all the negative attributes they think of men having to trans women, you know? I, I like, I like, yeah, like, like, uh, like obviously TERFs see trans women as men. They keep saying that, so they're going to apply, they're going to 
transcribe the negative, you know, aren't TERFs inherently misogynistic? I think that the TERF ideology or transphobia broadly is um, it, it very misogynistic and misandristic. I, genuinely, I think that it is just a, a, a bubbling cauldron of hatred along gendered lines. You know, it's it's not good. How much of a crossover do you think there is with fem cells? Significant. But again, please remember, TERFs are a very small group of people. Transphobes are a large group of people, but people who legitimately express their transphobia as a as an element of feminist critique and are doing that sincerely and aren't just like lying to cover the transphobia, very small group of people, overwhelming majority of feminists are trans positive or at the very least aren't transphobic, you know? JK Rowling is the loudest turf and she literally wrote a manifesto explaining everything that I just said, uh, that she's been victimized by men in the past and transcribes the trauma she feels directed against men onto trans women. Like, I, like I, nothing that I'm saying is like, uh, you know, speculative. The queen turf just said it in a very revealing manifesto, you know? So Watson added her venue as being set up as a response to the decline of lesbian bars in the UK, voicing her her opposition to the fact that many current lesbian bars and events welcome trans and non-binary visitors. So there are no lesbian bars in the UK as long as your definition of lesbian bar is one that bars trans and non-binary people. Gotcha. Like, seriously, wait, UK polling trans support lesbian women. Look at this. How do you view trans people? Very positively? Fairly positively? Neither positively nor negatively? don't know, fairly negatively, very negatively. Look at cisgender bisexual women and cisgender lesbian women down here. Both of them two thirds very positively uh, 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 about um, transgender people. And then in total about what, 85% very positively and positively. And then neutrally is another 10% with only like 5% remaining negativity. This is an insanely pro-trans demographic of people. So if lesbian bars are letting in trans and envy people, then uh, that's just a reflection of the demographic. While Watson is correct in her claim lesbian space is declining in the UK, there are now only three permanent lesbian bars remaining across the country. Experts have explained the decline is mostly due to rising rents and the impact of COVID-19. Oh, look. Oh, oh, they mentioned the poll right down here. Well, that's nice. No one's going to be going to that bar. Oh, no. God, no. There's no way a bar could survive off of that narrow portion of clientele. Though, my guess is, assuming that bar does open and stays open, it's not going to be a lesbian bar. It's going to be a turf bar. And straight women will come in to be around other turfs. You know, like it'll it'll basically just be like a mum's net type deal where it's not going to function as like a queer lesbian dating space. It'll just be like a hate group that masquerades as a bar, if that makes any. It'll, it'll just be a club for turfs. And then uh, and and then uh, Lindsey Graham is going to try to come in and they're going to like push him out or something and probably innocent, unaware people, too. Well, the innocent, unaware people. Oh, wait, did I say Lindsey Graham? I meant uh, Graham Linen, Glinner. Lindsey Graham. Why did I say that? I meant Glenner. You know what I mean. Similar names. Anyway, the normie women are probably going to be, like, kept from going into the bar because they're going to be subjected to a genital check, you know? They're going to see a lesbian bar, and then, it, like, some butchy lesbian girl is going to go to the bar and be like, Hey, cool bar. Let me go in and, like, I don't know, smack our pussies together, haha. And then someone at the door will be like, Pussy, huh? We'll see about that. And then... It's fine. Mac from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, like crotch lift them as the, the the scientific method of determining whether a person is trans or not. I can only assume. Vosh doesn't know how lesbian sex works. Yeah, I, yeah, I do. Isn't lesbian sex about making out for four hours and then not knowing whether or not the other person likes you? I, I understand it. I'm, I'm hip. I, I get it. Who told him? <laughs> yeah, but if you then learn that person was a turf levier, I imagine the interest would wane somewhat. Moving in together quickly is such an odd stereotype for lesbians. My cousin dated her GF for years before they moved in together. It's it's a real stereotype. Um, it, it's a real thing. I think a lot of it is just that um, living with a woman just tends to be easier than living with a guy. And, and women are kind of like, there is a, a broader social bias towards domesticity there. You know? Like, guys, I'm not going to lie. I've f***ed a decent amount of guys. But the idea of like living with a boyfriend, I don't know, man. I mean, have... Have you, like, met guys? I don't know. 
being a woman who lives with a man has to pick up all the domestic chores. Well, that's not really an issue for me. I already do most of the chores. I'm a, an exceedingly productive person uh, on and off stream. I guess on stream, I don't stream that often, but when I do stream, it tends to be pretty direct and engaged. So when I'm doing something, I tend to get it done pretty quickly and effectively. A uh, very classic ADHD trait. Thankfully for me, I like order, so I generally tend to enjoy cleaning. And I can do it pretty quickly, too.